Durant, right side angle, three for three, and the win is on line. This is Sports Center. Kevin Durant delivers a game winner against Dallas. And in L.A., Kobe Bryant, Carmelo Anthony face off. Lakers and Knicks. Bull Madness rolls on. The Seminoles rally to beat the Irish, while Washington and Baylor light up the Alamo Bowl for more than 100 points. It's like it's fun, and you're not going to sit one of these up. Tony Romo sounds like he's ready for Sunday against the Giants, but what about Tom Brady and Ben Roethlisberger? We tackle the lingering quarterback concerns. College basketball, top 25 teams taken to the limit, including an upset alert and a double overtime thriller on SportsCenter. Happy holidays. Welcome to Sports Center from Los Angeles. Well, with Neil Everett. I'm Stan Verrett. Baylor University has an interesting streak going on right now. Since November 1st, the Bears men's and women's basketball teams and the football team have combined to go 30 and 0. Winning is contagious during that run. The school also caught its first ever Heisman. You need to catch these highlights. This game is unbelievable. Robert Griffin the third playing perhaps his final college football game hasn't made it official yet whether he'll return to Waco or go pro. We're at the Valero Alamo Bowl against Washington. Steve Sarkeesian I'll tell you what he uh, Washington's got a football team too especially on the offensive end. A uh, couple of Heisman moments for Griffin in the first quarter. Uh, this one of them. 24 yards touchdown after faking the hand up, getting wrapped up, uh, eludes three tacklers. I counted six different Huskies, got their mitts on them, couldn't put them down. It was Baylor 21 7 at that point. Second quarter, we're tied at 21. Washington has tied it up, and Griffin is putting the ball on the ground, playing fast and loose with the football, sacked by Andrew Hudson. Washington recovers, ensuing drive. Keith Price, if you're not familiar with him, you need to get familiar with him. Because he is channeling his inner Griffin right there. 15-yard touchdown. Price responsible for seven touchdowns. I mean, he's over the line, and the guy jumped there on the fake. Washington, 21 unanswered. They're up 28-21, and Griffin going, you know what? That was a good play. Uh, late first half, Washington's defense stepping up. Did not do that enough. Griffin down. Josh Shirley gets him. Quit calling me, Shirley. Washington would stop Baylor on a fourth down. And on the first play... After the turnover on downs, Chris Polk, delayed handoff. Second on the career rushing list at Washington. 56 yards, Washington 35-21. At that point, 35-24 at the half. 656 total yards first half. We're in the third quarter, Washington in the red zone. Polk up the middle, puts it on the turf, recovered by Baylor. And just like Washington did to Baylor, Baylor does to Washington first play and if it's touch football Terrence Ganaway is not down <laughs> the hole and go 89 yards Baylor uh, was down three they went for two did the jump pass Griffin did it was quite exciting and we, and we got a game two plays from scrimmage later Washington Price Devin Aguilar for the 13 yard touchdown. 49 39 now 49 46 Tevin Reese going to make the highlight. Cuts up field. Waits for his blockers. Knocked out of bounds inside the five. 70 yard, uh, 78 yard gain. Ganaway would score a one yard touchdown. Baylor takes the lead. 53-49. I told you this game was crazy. Fourth quarter. Price scrambles. I mean, talk about effort on this play. I mean, Washington has had some players at quarterback. Oh, and this kid is well on his way to joining the ranks of the great ones up there in Seattle. Football touches the pylon uh, by rule. That's a score. Washington up 56-53. Baylor ball. We got just over nine minutes to play. Griffin deep downfield. Kendall Wright. Wright caught the first touchdown in this game. That kid, remember that name. Griffin gets all the pub. That kid's a first rounder as well. That's a first down. Three plays later. Ganaway. Four-yard touchdown. He had 200 rushing yards, five scores. Baylor up 60 to 56. But Baylor can't stop anybody on D. Will Washington be stopped here? It's a fourth and eight. Price overthrows the receiver. 
Is that Washington's last chance? Baylor takes over. And on the next possession, Ganaway buying some insurance. 43 yards there. That seals the deal. Baylor wins 67 to 56. You know, Baylor won its last men's basketball game scoring 54 points. Wow, what a game this was. Griffin, Robert Griffin the third, 24-33, 295 yards, couple touchdowns. Ganaway told you what he did. He got the MVP. Griffin gets the microphone. I mean, it's unbelievable uh, to come out here 67 to 56. I mean, this had to be one of the most watched television ga uh, TV games of all time. Baylor, 10 wins, first bowl win in 19 years. What does that mean for you? It means a huge smile. It means uh, all these people in here, they came to watch us put on a show. We put on a show and we did it for them, so we're excited. Have you played your last game in a Baylor uniform? I have no idea. I'm going to enjoy this right now with my teammates, and uh, we'll get to that later. Well, let's check it out. Check out the points here. I mean, the yards were obscene. The points, second highest scoring bowl game ever. Wow. Just two points behind the 0-1 GMAC Bowl between Marshall and East Carolina. That game needed two overtimes to score those points. Chris Spielman has points to make. Uh, Robert Griffin III has a big decision to make. Should he come back to Baylor for his final year of college football, or should he go to the NFL? My opinion, he should go to the NFL. He's done a lot for Baylor. He's brought a lot of notoriety. He's brought a Heisman Trophy. He's helped put that program back on the map for Art Browse, and Art Browse will do his thing and bring good players into Baylor. He's an explosive football player, great accuracy, great arm, leadership, can run the football. Everything you want in an NFL quarterback, you will find in RG3. Well, if he goes, we go to Mel Kuyper, our draft guru, and look at his big board. He's got Andrew Luck as the first player overall, and of course, then they're, therefore the first quarterback. He's got Griffin being taken sixth, the second quarterback, and they're just two QBs in the top ten.